so before start the actual project explanation i request you please subscribe my channel so you can see on the screen up till now i have uploaded more than 66 video on raspberry pi the raspberry pi with iot that is all this video then also iot with arduino all this video are 26 and recently we started the new series on the pick my controller before that i also cover the project on the python web application so if you want to learn python iot raspberry pi arduino pick from the scratch and from uh, freely then please subscribe my channel please support me and the most important part is whatever the code i have explained whatever the project i have created on this youtube channel all these projects are freely available you no need to pay anything for this project so just if only point is you should watch complete video and you should follow my process so if you want to learn something from the scratch and freely then support me and please subscribe my channel and please click on like button hello friend in today's session we will learn how we can design and develop a smart electronic OT machine project by using arduino so you can see on the screen we have arduino we have buzzer then lcd then switches and we have camera so before start this video i would like to tell you what will be the flow of this project so any water come in front of the camera the camera captures the image of the total if the water image present in the database then camera give the access to the arduino like give uh, water from the water give water from the water then after that once the water press the switch any switch so first switch for a bjp then second is for ncp and third is congress so if the water press any switch then respective party vote will be increased by one then after that next person come next person again scan his face and again give the vote same process happen uh, continuously if the if any voter give the vote and it's again come and if the camera capture the image and then our software will detect this is a duplicate vote then that time buzzer also turn on so whenever any voter give the vote then buzzer will turn on and whenever any invalid person come then also buzzer will turn on okay so after every voter give the vote if we want to display the winner name here on the lcd then admin will come in from in front of the camera then again our system will be detect it is a admin access so once the admin phase is detected then winner name will be present on the screen so this is the complete flow of this project okay so for this project you require all this hardware with laptop because whatever the face capture and detection algorithm will be run on the laptop and from the usb terminal we will send the signal to a valid person or invalid person signal from the laptop to arduino through this usb terminal okay so before start the next part i would like to show you the practical demonstration of this project so that you will get idea about complete project and uh, in this video we will cover how to design and develop all this hardware like how to connect each and every hardware with the arduino then also we will also we will cover how to run this project by yourself so please watch this project so please watch this video completely so that you will get idea about each and everything about this project okay now let's see the practical demonstration of this project now i will reset this project you can see i will click on reset button so once i reset this project you can see at the starting it will show the electronic voting machine that is project name then after that it shows the it, it give the uh, message yes scan your face so it is waiting for the voter so we will wait for the voter which come which uh, come in front of this camera so we will wait again till the water come in front of this camera ok now you can see no person uh, is available in front of the camera so that our system will show scan your face so now person that water will come in front of the camera so her face will be detect and after that here you can see give give your vote so after that uh, person will press any switch okay after vote taken you can see buzzer will turn on now continuously buzzer will turn on because it is invalid vote uh, because it is duplicate vote given uh, now same person is try to give the vote uh, again and again that's why our buzzer is start ringing again so once the person uh, come out from the camera that buzzer will be stop ringing so wait for some second because uh, the, the person face will be detect on the camera there is some delay so after two minutes it will stop ringing that buzzer so now admin will come in front of the camera uh, my uh, myself act as admin so i will come in front of the camera 
uh, after that winner name will be show there you can see winner name is bjp because voter has pressed first uh, switch this switch that's why winner name is bjp so this is the complete idea so this is the complete working flow of this project i hope you understand the complete working flow of this project now we will see the hardware connection and then we will see the programming part okay now first we will connect this lcd board with arduino so i have designed this lcd board on the zero pcb you can also design this lcd board on the breadboard how to design this lcd board on the breadboard i have already explained in my previous video the video thumbnail you can see on the screen in that video i have explained how to design this circuit on the breadboard if you watch that video then you will easily develop and design this circuit on the breadboard also on the zero pcb so please watch that video if you want to design this circuit on the breadboard okay now if you don't want to design this circuit on the breadboard if you want ready-made circuit then you can purchase this type of circuit from amazon i will show you the amazon link on the screen you can see this is the amazon board and from that board you can easily find out whatever the connection i am connecting here so so now we will connect one by one connection okay so first important part on the lcd this is vcc pin so you can see this is the vcc pin so i will connect this vcc pin to arduino vcc pin so arduino vcc pin is here so i will connect arduino 5 volt pin here so you can see on each arduino on the arduino there is a pin number and pin name also so first pin is vcc pin from the lcd so that is the 5 volt pin so i will connect this 5 volt pin to the 5 volt pin of arduino then after that the ground pin so this is the ground pin of the lcd so i will connect this ground pin to the ground pin of arduino so you can see this is the ground pin so in this way we completed the lcd a ground and vcc connection with arduino now the next part is lcd rs pin so this is my lcd rs pin so lcd rs pin should be connected to two number pin of arduino so here is the two number pin of arduino i have connected lcd rs pin then next pin is lcd enable pin so lcd enable pin is this one so lcd enable pin should be connected to three number pin of arduino then after that you can see lcd d4 pin so lcd d4 pin should be connected to four number pin of arduino then lcd d5 pin lcd d5 pin this is the lcd d5 pin and it should be connected to five number pin of arduino then after that lcd d6 pin so lcd d6 pin should be connected to six number pin of arduino then after that lcd d7 pin so this is the lcd d7 pin and this should be connected to seven number pin of arduino okay after we connect lcd with the arduino our next part is we have to connect this with circuit with the arduino now i am adding one video clip in which i am explain, explaining how to design this switch circuit for the raspberry pi so you have to ignore raspberry pi name by yourself and just add the arduino name there whenever i say raspberry pi because same switch, switch circuit we are using okay from that video clip you can able to design this breadboard circuit having five output pin this three output pin and these two supply pin okay just ignore the raspberry pi name so basically uh, first we understand the switch structure so switch having four pins you can see this is the switch like this this is the switch and each switch having pin 1 pin 2 pin 3 and pin 4 so like this you can assume i place this switch like this each switch having 1 2 3 4 pins so 1 2 3 4 pins so what we have to connect we have to connect this pin to the vcc that is 5 volt plus 5 volt we have to connect this 5 volt and this pin we have to connect to the register this pin we have to connect to register and from register we have to connect to ground the register value is 1 kilo ohm okay 
1 kilo ohm is the value now between this pin and register point we have to take one pin outside which is connected to our raspberry pi so this is the simple circuit which is used for the switch again i will explain the same part to understand better so this is the switch having four pins so let's say this switch having four pins one two three and four so this first pin we have to connect to the plus five volt of raspberry pi then from this pin there should be one register and then should be connected to ground then this pin middle of this pin you have to take middle one pin from here between this pin and register pin you have to take one pin and this pin should be connected to raspberry pi so this is the com so so this is the switch circuit now we have to perform this switch circuit on our breadboard now on breadboard we try to understand this part so basically uh, i will tell some basic idea of breadboard we have this pin which is considered as a ground we have this pin which is considered as a vcc so this pin is a ground and this pin is a vcc between we have to connect switch between these two pins like these two uh, you can say row so we have four row on breadboard one row is this one row is this third and fourth now i will take switch like this then after that what i will do i will place this switch you can see this part i will place like this like this i will place so you can see here the switch is connect first two pins are this row and second two pins are this row so in this way you have to connect the switch okay okay with the same way i will take the another switch i will take this switch like this and again this row and this row in between this row i will just place this switch like this and paste here and then again i will take the third switch and same way this row and this row i will just place like this so you can see in this way uh, you have to place your switch then after that what we have to do this part is considered as a vcc so as per our uh, uh, idea the this pin it's considered as a vcc pin so this pin what i will do i will attach to the vcc here pair about to this this pin like this so you can see so you can see what i have did i have take this switch this pin and connect it to breadboard this row so again same switch second switch we have to connect this row third switch we have to connect to this row like this you have to perform i hope you are understanding what i am telling so again same part switch this pin you can see switch this pin i will connect to here so very basic and easy circuit then switch three pin third pin you can see third switch connect to this row like this so up till now what we have connected our upper part of switch this pin we have connected to vcc now this switch uh, this this row we will connect to raspberry pi vcc later then after that we have to take the register 1k register okay 1k register we have to take and switch this pin you have to connect from this register like here i have connected register here i have connected register like register is connected here and then one register pin i will place into this row like this you can do so again try to understand here this row act as a switch pin okay this pin so i will take register from here and second point of register is connected here and this pin later we be connected to ground and you can see there is a some gap between this register and the switch pin so from this gap we will connect to raspberry pi pin later so likewise you have to repeat your operation 
three times because you have three switch so again second register with the second switch and then connected to second row here and like same way one kilo ohm register third row switch and connected to third row like this so just focus here uh, each switch pin connected to register and this row should be common you can see common to the all register same this row should be common to the all vcc so you, you should not use this row this row this row this row like this you have to use only single row and single row whenever you are connecting to the uh, register so in this way we complete the switch part so you can see we have taken the common ground uh, common this is here common ground here now what i told you in between register point and the switch point in between register point and switch point we have to take one pin which connected to raspberry pi so this between here i will take one pin and this should be connected to raspberry pi 29 number okay same switch to in between register and the switch to pin should be connected to raspberry pi 31 number then after that switch 3 register and the switch 3 between pin should be connected to raspberry pi 33 number like this okay i hope you watched that video uh, i hope you watched the clip and after that you can see we have first this pin so this pin nothing but our ground pin you have to connect to uh, arduino ground so arduino ground is here after that you can see this is the vcc pin of this switch circuit so this should be connected to 5 volt power supply then after that this is the first pin which is coming from the switch one you can see this is which connected to i said in that video to raspberry pi now we are connecting this pin to the arduino so this is the first switch pin this should be connected to nine number pin of arduino then second switch pin we have to connect to 10 number pin of arduino then third switch pin we have to connect to 11 number pin of arduino okay so in this way we complete this part now lcd ground pin you can see lcd has ground pin here that we have to connect to common ground so this ground pin i have taken here and this is our common ground from the breadboard so i will connect the ground pin here because you can see this is the common ground and this is the vcc common vcc so i will connect from here lcd vcc pin to common vcc that is this one is common vcc so i will connect here so up till now we connected the lcd breadboard with the arduino uh, lcd switch pin switches with the arduino now next part is we have to connect this buzzer buzzer connection is very simple buzzer having two pin any buzzer having two pin one is positive negative you have to just connect the negative pin to the common ground pin so here is our common ground so i will take this pin to the common ground here and you can see this is the positive pin of buzzer this is the positive pin of buzzer so positive pin of buzzer you can see this one this should be connected to arduino 8 number pin that's it only it is very simple circuit of buzzer two pin one is positive one is negative negative pin connected to common ground and positive pin connected to 8 number pin so in this way we complete the hardware part of this project i hope you understand the hardware part now we will see how to run this project now in hardware part also you have this usb camera this one so this usb camera you can purchase from amazon just you have to connect this camera to your laptop in usb port that's it only 
and then after that you need arduino pin this is power supply pin of arduino just connect here arduino power supply pin and this pin also having usb port just connect it to your laptop that's it only so once you connect you can see power supply given to our project and uh, project start working so in this way hardware connection is completed now i will tell you how to run this project okay now we will see how to run this project so before run this project first you have to download this uh, electronic hardware arduino folder from my uh, web page link web page link given in the description from that description you can download this folder this will be in the zip file you have to unzip that one so once you unzip you will find these two files so first open the python code here so how to open python code just go to the here start bar here type python so you require python 3.9 3.7 or 3.8 version in your laptop pre install okay once you install the uh, once you open the python just go to the file click on open so once you click on open just give your folder path here where you save that project so i will open that folder path so this is my folder path not this one sorry python code this one and this i will copy this and open here paste that path so it will open my file so first you have to open this face recognition code so once you open you can see you have to first import all this library cv2 numpy i will not explain anything right now here because there are many uh, many videos on phase recognition module how to create database how to install this uh, file you can see on the thumbnail there are many video you can watch any one of this video and try to understand how you can design uh, how how you can capture your face and how you can store your database also you can watch my previous video also which is a protein simulation of electronic voting machine of arduino project in that video also i explain how to create the database so from that one you will get idea i will not explain that step again here because it will take lot of time so after that main part is here uh, this file will be open close this uh, then open the arduino software once you open arduino software go to the tools arduino you know board you have to select here and compot is my com5 that's why i have given here in the python code com5 you can see here in the python code i have given here com5 in your case it will be different com number so you can change this com number here okay i again repeat okay so after you change the com5 uh, number here compot as per your reference and after you change your image also as per my previous video go to the arduino just click on this upload button so this program will be upload in your arduino so just click on upload button so once you click on upload button uh, now you can see when you given the power supply now my power supply is not given to the arduino when i give the power supply it start showing the project name it should show the project name and after it show the scan your face now you can run your python code so just open the python code click on run and run module so wait for some second uh, your python uh, camera will be open here so wait for that box and once the box is open that means your project successfully run there is no issue meanwhile i again repeat whatever database you have to create whatever file name you have to change before that one please watch my previous video thumbnail again i i am showing on the screen that is very important without that your project will not run i am not covering that part here because it will take lot of time again okay perfect now your camera open you can see at the here camera is open which is usb camera which is attached to your laptop so i can move that camera also that is usb camera and once this open that mean your project successfully work i hope you understand the complete flow of this project and how to run the project a uh, programming part i haven't explained because in detail program i already explained in my previous video please watch that video if you really want to understand the program 
same program I use here which is used in the Proti simulation pro uh, project. So I hope you understand all the part. Thanks for watching this video.